All right, on the phone, man, here's how it's going down. All week we've been talking about it. All season we've been amped. As of, like, three years ago, the city's been transformed. Everybody's going 12th man crazy. And we got the pleasure of talking to a member of the Seattle Seahawks, NFC West champions, number 21 from the U, Kelly Jennings. What's up, pimp? Nothing much. What's going on, man? Man, you like that intro, huh? That was kind of hot. Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Okay, cool. Just checking. All right, so talk about the season, man. Talk about Green Bay. Talk about how y'all going to win. Give me a game plan. You know, did you guys play Madden and figure out who's going to win the game or what? How'd it work out? Nah, you know, the, uh, Green Bay's a great team. They have some uh, big we- weapons on offense and defense. But, you know, we've been studying a lot of film. Gonna go out there and just do what we have to do. See, what I like to do when we get, you know, football players, basketball players on the phone, I like to break it up a little bit. Because you guys do a lot of interviews. We always talk about the X's and O's of football and, you know, who's going to win the game and what's the strategy. But let's break it down like this, man. This is a music station. So what do you listen to in your car, man? To me, I listen to a lot of R&B, some rap in there. Okay, like what do you, what do you listen to before the game to get you pumped up? Do you listen to anything like in your iPod? Uh, yeah, yeah, I get on iPod. Uh, be honest, I got like I start out with, uh, I mean, which may be a kind of of a funny order, but I kind of listen to uh, some rap first, uh-huh. and then let me see, like some maybe some plies and some a uh, little bit of T Pain. I like, you know, I, I like a lot of uh, variety of stuff, and then I actually end with a uh, spiritual. I see. I hear that's a lot of Florida in there. Now, you, you went to Miami. Are you actually from Florida? Oh, yeah. I'm from Northern Florida. Okay. Now, here's the thing, man. I always had this theory. If I was in the NFL or the NBA or whatever, man, you have the ability. You have money. You're a starter on a real good team. You know, you're on TV. You got fame. If you could holler at any R&B chicks, I know you've probably been to a lot of parties down in Florida, <laughs> Atlanta. If you could holler at any R&B chick, who would it be? Alicia Keys. Off top. You was just right on the Off game. Top, like, yeah. Have, have you ever ran into Alicia Keys? No, I haven't. Oh, man. I wish I lived your lifestyle. Now, you're number 21. Who you grow up idolizing, man? Is there any Deion Sanders in you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Deion Sanders or even more um, Jerry Rice. Jerry Rice? Yeah, you know, I, young, I thought I was a receiver, played receiver back in the day, so that was kind of my guy. All right, man. Now, it, it's your second season as a Seahawk and your first season as a starter, man. Is there any big difference between what a lot of people remember about you was last year, the play you made against Terry Glenn that put us in position to win. So a lot of people talk about the Romo fumble with the, with the Babino tackle, but I just want to give you a little bit of credit of forcing that fumble on Terry Glenn. I appreciate that. You know that's what I'm here to do, yeah. pat you on the back. So is there a big season, a big difference being a starter this year? Yeah, it's a big difference, especially last year, you know, playing that role as a backup and kind of learning and seeing what it takes to actually get in to actually play uh, 60 to, to 80 plays a game. Mm-hmm. And now, you know, going in, knowing the defense, kind of knowing the system, not having to think as much and just able to kind of let myself loose and make plays. And a lot of people testing you because on the other end of the field, you got a pro, pro Bowl cornerback. So that means a lot of passes coming your way. And I got to give you credit, man. You're holding your own this year. You know, I'm, I'm doing what I got to do, you know, and I, that's the way I look at it going into the game. I'm like, I got you got true on the other side, knowing they're going to throw away from him. So I got to try to hold up and try to get that reputation myself. Now, now, talk about this, man. A lot of us, you know, we go to the football games, but, you know, very few of us have the athletic ability to do what you do. What's it like being down there on the field, man, playing in front of the, you know, some say the loudest crowd in the NFL? Like, do you guys actually, tell the truth, do you guys actually get energy from the crowd or is that just something we all believe? You know, it, we actually do get, especially that defense in, the, in our stadium, because you know you can't really get that loud for the offense. But our defense, we feed off of that, off of that, because we know that their offense can't hear either the the the, the, the play or the snap count, and so it kind of gets them on edge. And then we just feed off all that energy. All right, now I'm gonna ask you a question. You guys are playing Green Bay on Saturday, one thirty kickoff locally. Spell Favre. F A R V. See, it's the other way around. F A V R E. Ain't that weird? Yeah, you <laughs> See? Yeah. We educate as well as entertain here on Cube. So, look, here's what we're going to do. I wish you all the best luck. I actually ran into you a few times. I see you at the uh, the Halo jump uh, off. Halo, the- yeah, at uh, Best Buy. Did you actually get the game, man? Yeah, I got the game. So, you're a gamer? Oh, yeah, I'll be on. All right, well, look, man, I'm going to wish you all the luck in the world because I need you guys to win. I need the Giants to lose so we can get our 12th man on. And I might see you in public and ask you for a ticket here and there, okay? All right, let's do it. All right, man, appreciate it, man. You have a good day. Good luck. All right, appreciate it.